hello hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today today we are gonna be budgeting for the first week of march which is gonna be my husband's paycheck and i predicted 3400 for his paycheck and i was actually quite close his paycheck which i'm gonna write here was three thousand four hundred and thirty three dollars and two cents like $33 off but you know totally happy with that that was so close um and then our mortgage per usual was 200 oh uh, no huh I wish it was 200 per week um okay mortgage was $691.91 and and then our car payment which is a thousand a week or a thousand a month split into four was 250 and then HOA will be 37. In our month ahead this week, my plan is to stuff a hundred dollars. So then our total is 691.91 minus 250 minus 37. What am I minusing? What am I doing? Okay, 691.91 plus 250 plus 37 plus 100. So total is one thousand seven hundred no one thousand and seventy eight dollars and ninety one cents okay that was a struggle we got through it let's start with bills so for bills we're gonna do hundred dollars for utilities ten dollars for phone bill ten dollars for the gym Ten dollars for car insurance, and we're gonna do three hundred in retirement, and then five dollars for Terminex, and two fifty. No, you know what? We'll do three hundred in car payment. So the reason, um, so the goal is like a thousand in car payment and a thousand in retirement, but I do th um the three hundred and two hundred um between altering paychecks because my husband does get paid about four hundred dollars more than me a paycheck. And so, with that being said, oh my god, I don't know what just happened. Um, with that being said, this is why we, um, Okay, so my husband does get paid about $400 more than me per paycheck. So then um, just to offset the difference, I do put the 300 onto his paycheck and then 200 onto mine. Again, we share accounts and we share our paycheck. So it, it's not like he pays more for it. We pay as a family, as a joint account. So it doesn't really matter. But that's just how I like to budget. So for that... Uh, for this total for bills, it's 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 300 plus 5 plus 300. So total is 735. Moving on to spending. For spending, we're going to do 100 for groceries and 100 for eating out. We'll do 10 for gas and 20 each. And this doesn't really change. The only number that kind of changes here is um, the groceries and eating out number. But actually, I don't need the calculator. So this is 60, 70, 270. Okay, next is short term. And for short term, we are essentially just going to do $5 across the board. And then we are going to do $10 in car maintenance as I'm talking about it, but not actually in that category yet. Okay. Oh my God. What is going on with me? Today is a struggle, guys. A struggle, I tell you. And uh, for those of you did, that didn't watch my monthly budget video, um, this is my last month actually stuffing clothes with our paychecks. What I had mentioned in the last video is that um, I'm going to 
really make the effort to sell more clothes on Poshmark. I know I said that last year already, but this year I'm really, 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 really going to make that effort. So I'm going to be posting a lot of my clothes for my closet. My goal is to try to get rid of about 80% of it. And I'm going to post it on Poshmark. All the clothes are pretty much brand new with tag guys. And I'm only going to be selling them for 5 to $10. And if you buy more, um, I also have a bundling um, discount. So I am super excited for the clothes to have a new home because honestly the clothes are so cute i just never lost the weight which i'm working towards a healthier lifestyle but i don't want to keep on hoarding the clothes in hopes that i would fit into them i would rather them have a new home that people can actually use and i think by you know selling them out for cheaper i'm helping out people who aren't able to afford clothes right now because clothes are so expensive um and so i just want to be able to do that um so you will see hopefully in my poshmark that i will have a pretty big listing soon but um from that whatever i sell on poshmark i am going to stuff into clothes rather than stuff it with our paychecks every week so that's my spiel okay and then car maintenance i'm going to do 10 just because we have been going to new york a couple of times and um with going to new york every time the tolls is quite expensive so i just want to stuff a little bit more in car maintenance so with that being said we're just going to count this one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine times five plus 10 so that's 55 dollars that we're stuffing here okay now that we're done with this page let's see how much we have left so we have 3433.02 i don't know why 02 minus 1078.91 minus 270 minus 735 minus 55 so we have 1294 dollars left and i'm gonna put the four into the donations we'll write it here just so we don't forget and the 11 cents we're gonna forget about. okay next is our emergency fund so for our emergency fund this week we were gonna add 250. For new house, we will add 100. Home maintenance is just gonna get a five, as well as furniture, medical, and electronics, just cause there's not much there. Hosting, we're also just gonna do a five, as well as new car and pantry. But for me, we're going to do 10 and renovations, we're going to do 10. And then we'll do 5 for my stuffing, uh, for my giveaway. Okay, so total is, I'm just going to count out how many fives we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 40 plus 20 plus 4 plus 100 plus 250. So total is 414. Okay, next, um, no, yeah, next we have travel. And travel, we're going to start with the cruise, though. So for the cruise, I want to save $300. So this is the $300. Because nothing for the big days. And then coming to here, for Europe, we're going to save 50 Nothing here, 50 for Asia and 50 for beach trip, $20 for friends. But then here we're also going to do 300 for parents and 50 for anniversary. So total here is 100, 200, 520. No calculator, but I can't write apparently. Okay, so this is going to be 550. Okay. The last but not least is a baby binder, but I just want to check how much money we have left. So it's one, two, nine, four, 
minus 414 minus 300 minus 550. Okay, so I left myself $30 here for baby stuff. So $30, we're gonna go ahead and let me think. Um, I feel like 30 is not a lot because we have 10 categories. So, Mm -hmm. Oh wait, guys, I did the math wrong here. Hold on, I only have 520. Oh my god, I was bragging about no calculator, but I might need to use a calculator. Hold on. 100, 200, 500, 520. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Okay, so now let's do it again. The math. We have 1294 minus 414 minus 300 minus 520. So we have $60 left. Okay. So that's enough. I was trying to take money away and I was like, but like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna start with hospital and childcare where we're doing $10. And then we're gonna do just five. And I think that's actually gonna give us 60. Unfortunately, it seems very low this week, but we just had to prioritize travel. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, five, that's 40 plus 20. So it is 60. Okay. So let's go ahead and just count this up, the totals. So we've got 60 plus 520 plus 300 plus 414 plus Okay, well, that doesn't work because it doesn't match this. Let's try again, guys. We've got 60 plus 520 plus 300 plus 414 plus. Okay, that matched that now. 55 plus 270 plus 735 plus 107.8.91. Total is 3,432, so 33 basically. Okay, so that's where we're uh, stuffing this week for the first week of March. Um, that's our planning. Um, so we've been able to allocate every dollar to a location, which is great. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I know it's been a little bit of a mess today. Um, we are just, you know, getting back into the week um but anyways thank you so much for being here and i'll see you guys next time bye